Well, we asked for it and we got it. The warm temperatures are here and the sun is of course back and we've already seen some pretty hot days. So we've got some tips on how you can stay cool and safe this summer. News 12 reporter Jessica Cunnington explains. It's already starting the beach days, baseball and just enjoying the sunny blue skies. Unfortunately, it's also the time heat stroke and heat exhaustion can hit you, but it all can be prevented. The basics we all know and should follow wear that sunscreen, make it a habit to just put it on every day just in case, especially if you'll be out in the sun for a while and grab your shades. It's an easy way to protect your eyes from the strong sun and an umbrella or hat helps keep the rain and sun away. So throw it in your bag no matter what the weather is. I like to have some uh, snacks especially for folks who are diabetic. Dr. Ernest Patty has those things and a lot more in a bag that's ready to go at all times. Now some tips from the professionals. Cut down on the sugary drinks. They will not help you with that strong sun and humidity. Iced coffee is okay, but like everything else in moderation, you know, if you want to have one or two a day, that's fine. But then the other four or five times during the day where you're hydrating, you should drink more water. And water is a big one. Stay hydrated. And it might seem obvious, but pay attention to the types of clothes you're wearing. You should wear cottons, linens, silk type products. Stay away from the polyesters. And watch the time of day you do decide to do anything strenuous outside. During the middle of the day when the sun's at its highest point, that's the worst time to be outdoors doing sports and athletic activities or things around the house or even working if you can avoid it. Dr. Patty says call your doctor and ask about the medication you're taking. And if you're on medications that are preventing you from staying cool, and you over exercise or, or uh, overexert yourself out in the heat, you may actually be more prone to heat exhaustion and subsequently heat stroke. And what are the signs of those illnesses? Heavy sweating, feeling weak, clammy or pale skin, nausea, vomiting or fainting. Just lie down, get to a cooler place as soon as possible and sip water. Then call 911, especially if you have a fast or strong pulse. Everybody wants to run out after being stuck in all winter and the cold and the freezing weather and the snow. But what we really have to do is remember to prepare ourselves for the high heat and the high humidity. Jessica Cunnington reporting News 12.